Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And there are too many men in movies. As is this headline, sorry Barbie, Hollywood gets feeling marks when it comes to reflecting diversity on screen. Yeah, because you know what? Every time Hollywood pushes diversity on screen, because it's it's about um, agenda, not you know, organic diversity, people don't watch it. Yeah. Because so they're tired of your shit. We're gonna we're gonna talk about this because I think there's some salt. I think it's become very clear that the uh, DEI phase of Hollywood did not work very well. Uh, not when you've got you know Deadpool and Wolverine making mad money. Oh, that also had a diverse cast, I want to point out. Which had a diverse cast, but we did not make that a selling no, point. No, because it didn't used to be. Like, when we were younger, the top box office performers weren't even white. Yeah, Eddie Murphy was making some big bucks Will back Smith. then. Right? Well, Will you Smith, know, they he were like, was they making were bringing some it, bucks. and they weren't white. And no one cared. Nobody cared, but now we do. That's all we talk about. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at this uh, study. This is coming from uh, USC, of course. And, and oh, this, was it written by a dude? Uh, no, the study was a woman, but the article is a dude. Oh, yeah. okay, of course. The dude's gonna tell me what to think. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I tell you what to think every day. Yeah, it Should goes be used so to well it. for you. Go anyway. make me a pie, woman. I do like pie. You make really good pie. Thank you, but you tell me to do it on purpose. I'm gonna xx that pie. Tell my kids not to eat it. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants the shit pie. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's talk about this. Before you enter any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Yeah, woo woo if you do. Woo hoo. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm I'm gonna let Geeky speak in this video. Oh, geez, yeah, she's thanks. got my permission to speak. I'm just video. looking at the picture, and it's like the dress. She can tell a couple things. She's like not comfortable in that dress. Like she's like standing up so straight, it looks like it's hurting her. He looks pretty chill because his outfit's quite comfortable. And then she's just like, like looks like she's sucking her cheeks in too. Like, oh look, my cheekbones. Mm. The, pro Sorry. the problem is Margot Robbie's not enough. She's not enough. <laughs> um, so this is coming from me. He yeah, looks kind of comfortable. She does not. Well, it's because he's a man. Well, his outfit looks considerably, you know, easier to move in. Anyway. Yo, know, is it, isn't it weird, though? The Barbie movie comes out, and who's everybody talking about? Ryan Gosling. Ryan yeah. Gosling. <laughs> I'm just saying. So this has come from Newsweek. It said, a study released on Monday found there are more than twice as many male-speaking characters in Hollywood films than female ones. I want to point out, too, that, you know... Women go to the box office, too. And, yeah, a lot of you want the Barbie. But, like, when they've had, like, you know, superhero movies that are women, it was mostly men who went. The women didn't even go, you know? And then when they have, I guarantee when they have, like, really cool movies that, you know, like, have guys in it that are hot. Like, Double Wolverine, you probably have a lot of women go. Yeah. You yeah. know? I mean, if it was a romantic comedy or something, like a romance movie, you'd probably get more women to go. It's just that it is what it is. Genre matters. This is bros. Remember bros? Oh, kid, yeah. The, the gay rom com that, that not enough yeah. straight men went to, and the director was angry. Mad I'm about like, it. yeah. What did what did you think was going to happen? Anyway, um, yeah. The AP wrote that the latest annual report from the University of Southern California's Annenberg Inclusion Initiative. Just, oh, all right, just in the title, you know, we're they're going to be biased. It showed that just 32% of speaking characters in the top 100 movies at the box office in 2023 were women. Was there 100 women. movies at the box office in 2023? Were there? I don't know. Because, like, 2023 sucked. Stacey L. Smith, the founder and director of the Annenberg Inclusion Initiative. Oh, God. I For short. <laughs> began the study of inclusion in Hollywood in 2007. Oh, no. Oh, the God. USC think tank's latest data I don't use think tank showed little has changed since that time. In 2007, 30% of speaking characters in Hollywood theatrical releases were performed by females. Damn women in movies. They should what just keep guys, their mouth shut. What if they, they secretly identify as women? How dare you assume? Yeah, right? Um, the AP said that despite... Greta Gerwig's Barbie being the number one film at the box office last year. Such prominent releases don't by themselves move the needle against persistent trends. No but matter here, how... Here's an idea. Because no one wants to go see these movies. No. And a lot of the movies, like the rom-coms that were going to, to streaming services, are you, are you examining the streaming services and stuff too? Or is this just theatrical? Yeah, I think it's just theatrical. Yeah. Okay, and, well... And everything's up in the air right now anyway, right? 
No matter how you examine the data, 2023 was not the year of the woman. We continue to report the same trends for girls and women on screen year in and year out, she said in a statement, per the AP, probably because her funding depends on... I, I'm sure. ...looking for things like to bitch have, about. you know, sensitivity readers, they have to find things, and why are you hiring them, you know? Right, right. She continues, it's clear that there is either a dismissal of women as an audience for more than one or two films per year or refusal to find ways to create meaningful change. I'm trying to think well, how there's both. no women in these movies. Like the big movies always have women. And they always have speaking roles. Like I don't understand where they're getting this from. And you know, there's, there might be like, she's not being the main character, but there's going to be women in it that has, so you counting every background character too. I see how many speak and how many don't. Like, I don't understand this. And then, you know, I want to see it broken down by women, how many women went to a movie. Because, again, women didn't go see the all-female Terminator movie either, did they? No, they didn't. They, they don't want it. They, they didn't don't go like to the Furiosa, Marvels. did they? Yes, they don't want it. They didn't go to the Marvels. They didn't go to the Furiosa. Because maybe women go see some of these movies because they go because the guys are cute. You know, I'm just saying. Yeah, well, look, um, you know, there there were a lot of women at the audience when we went. Well, there wasn't that many when we were in there. But, you know, I'm sure they will. they are when they find out about, like, you know, the booty shots and the, the booty ab shots, shots and the, all that. It was, it was, you know, you're going to go look because they're, they're, they're cute guys in the movies, you know, and maybe girls like action movies and stuff too. Like I do, you know, they were, they were complaining that there were too many gay jokes in Wolverine. But that was the joke because Deadpool sleeps with anybody. That's kind of like the or he joke. He just makes, he's like Bugs Bunny. Just like he makes jokes about oh, it. <laughs> Bunny is an example, but okay. Bugs Bunny wants Elmer Fudd bad. Well, he kisses Elmer all the time. He kisses That's everybody. True, he does. He does. He's he's a, he's a little queer. That is a queer rabbit. Other findings. <laughs> oh, we need more. Uh, other findings in the Annenberg Inclusion Initiative included that 30% of lean roles in 2023's top box office films were performed by female actors. A steep decrease of 14% from because the prior year. They don't. Sell, okay? It's not that hard, sweet cheeks. It's because women don't, they, they, they're going to the movies. And actually, the female led movies, the dudes are going to it more than women because they want to go see the hot girls. I'm sorry. Again, if they're not working, it's because no one goes to see the damn movies. Charlie's Angel reboot, right. uh, Terminator, Marvels, Furiosa, all those movies, female do, leads. Also, it's a, bunch of, it's a bunch of already established IP that you raced and gender swapped. Yeah. Pretty much. Meanwhile, back in the day, we had Alien and Aliens, and those were huge hits. Yeah, no, and yeah. other ones, but, you know, Terminator, going. that was a huge hit. Um, they said the AP, okay, here you go. The AP noted that the study only focuses on the top movies in theaters, thus omitting features made for streaming and independent films. Okay, yeah, see what I'm saying? There's, and then the 100 top movies last year, where? Uh, so like every movie last year. So the like, USC study did show Hollywood made some progress in other areas of inclusion. 44% of speaking characters in 2023's top films came from underrepresented racial and ethnic groups, which the AP said mostly aligned with the U.S.'s racial demographics. The number of white characters in Hollywood's top box office films also dropped from 62% in 2022 to 56% in 2023. Now, not to be that guy, but if it were any other demographic, if it were any other race, and you said, hey, good news, everybody, we've got less whatever people in movies now than we did last year. That's fantastic news. We're doing so great. Uh, we're doing so great. I mean, again, they're just, this... again, when we were kids. Lots of diversity. No one thought anything of it. But this next part. However, the AP report that other groups are closer to invisible. According to the study, only five movies out of the top 100 box office releases featured LGBTQ plus leader co-lead and just four non-binary binary actors in speaking roles. <sighs> 2 point two had disability. I'm like, well, there you go. There's 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 the highest grossing gay couple in movies. I'm just, I'm just like, over. I'm just like, <laughs> <sighs> too Seriously. many men, so not gay enough. Go, they want, yeah, they want all women or they want all women or gay men. And they all are non-binary, and they all have to have speaking roles, and they all have to be really the, all the leads in the movie. And then no one will go see them. It's not because of those things. It's because 
they're going to put like they're, to usually have those leads that's kind of maybe like a rom-com or something like that it's not going to be the stuff people want to go see not the blockbuster type stuff and then they're going to complain when no one goes to the theater because everybody's a bigot gl- gl- worldwide everybody worldwide are all white straight men and bigots you're all bigots if the industry, this is this is the woman who did oh, the God. survey. Yeah, okay. If the industry wants to survive its current moment, it must examine its failure to employ half the population on screen. I don't know what movies are talking about because everything I'm thinking of, what I went to see or that I I remember seeing trailers for had women with speaking roles. I don't understand and diversity. I don't, I don't get what they're talking. I mean, they just pull some out of their ass. I mean. I don't know. Why? It goes on and on. I don't care. If oh I see anything God. else, I'm going to probably like, get up and leave. What this means for Hollywood, this is coming from uh, LAist. Um, Hollywood's still recovering from double strikes, COVID, and several other financial headwinds. Uh huh. And they're going to be, they're going to tighten their belt and they're going to be even, <laughs> you know, fewer of this stuff. She says, often in times of economic hardship, diversity, equity, and inclusion isn't as much of a priority. No shit. It's called do or die. It's called you know what, what do people want? Here's the kicker, though. You can still have diversity. You can still have inclusion and stuff and just do it in a way that makes sense or organic. People are just tired of the cheap-ass reboots. They're tired of the gender and race swapping. If you give them a good movie that had a diverse characters, like Deadpool Wolverine did, and they, you know this happens to be diverse, people will go watch it if it looks good. If characters and story are over your agenda checkpoints, People will go to the damn movie. Oh my God, get this. Okay, so you want you want proof that this woman's job depends on finding things wrong, right? Okay. With with entertainment, right? She said that led to a downturn across the board, and Smith is hesitant to highlight films that did something right because there's always room for improvement. The data uh-huh. hasn't changed over the past 17 Says years. Her. Yes, which she described as absolutely mind-numbing and infuriating. Okay, wait a minute. So she'll talk about how it's not changing supposedly <laughs> and everything else, and it's a fair, but she won't give you won't won't give not give examples of how it's done right. Oh, well, she is, but it's a movie that like nobody went to go see. If you think about the audience and you think about Gen Z, this is one of their most this is their number one value. She said movies like Bottoms, what for is, example. No one I've never well, heard about. Wait, she describes it. Movies like Bottoms, for example, a sleeper comedy hit. Never heard of it. About two best friends navigating high school as lesbian virgins. So they, what, 10 people watched it? They resonate with the storylines that reflect the experiences that they're thinking about and they care about. And inclusion so wait, is one of your, them. Your, your, your example is one thing that hardly anybody Bottoms. heard of. It's very, very, very niche. And that's a good example. But why the fuck would Hollywood niche themselves that much so that they end up like having no money? You have to, when you do these, you have to go for the greatest common denominator. And usually people that are LGBTQ like action movies or the same genres or different, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can be diverse and still like the genres everybody else likes. And sometimes they usually have male leads. Sometimes they don't. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, yeah, her job effing depends on it. Somebody cut her funding. She's a dumbass. Cut her funding. She's dumb. So th- those, those little niche movies, the DEI movies, they, they get funded because they're Deadpool and Wolverines bankrolling them, right? The studio has a little extra money mm-hmm. to spend on these little th- these little turds that they can just say, "Oh, look, look, we did diversity and inclusion." But they're diverse turds, and the thing so is, I know, that's the that's thing special. Is, they're not white turds. They're not male turds. The thing is, they're diverse turds. It's really insulting to women, diverse people, and stuff because your 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 takeaway is you have to have special movies just for them. But they can be cast in these movies, too. A lot of times they are cast. They just aren't like the lead or whatever. Or sometimes they are. But I'm just saying, because the movies are out there and they're good and they have diversity, but it's not about making it a point of representation and diversity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The example she gave. So all the little virgin lesbians everywhere have diversity, inclusion for themselves. And I'm like, or there could be like a lesbian character in a, sh- in a movie or show and it's just, it happens to be a lesbian character. It's not a big focus made on it, but they just happen to be a good character in the show. There there were there lesbians in Deadpool and Wolverine. There have been lesbians in all the Deadpool movies. There's so many lesbians. <laughs> what? And Deadpool's bisexual thunder. So I don't, what's the big about? fucking problem? And people think Hugh Jackman's gay. Does that count? He sings show tunes. He was, he's married. He was, he was married with kids. Was. I 
don't think that's he sings why. show tunes. I'm, so? ju- I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There, there's a whole lot of gay going on in Deadpool and Wolverine, there and it's, it's made almost a billion dollars. They're like, it's, they're mad because like they're mocking it, but it's like, I just thought it was, they make they mock everyone, so it wasn't just you. Anyway, we got to wrap this up. Cut I, can't, I have to take fun. so much stupidity a day, and my stupidity meter, it, meter, meter is just like topping out. I can't put up on any more stupidity, or it's going to make my head explode. I don't want your head to explode. I just can't. It's, it's, I don't want to top out your meter. It's just like, I'm just like, oh, my God. <sighs> I can't. So there we go, guys. There we go. We're gonna I, I, wait, wait, real quick. I would love to see the data with how many women came to these movies. How many women came to these movies? <laughs> how many beans don't, were flicked? Don't, don't, stop. Hey. You know what I no, mean? A lot of women might have came for bottoms. <laughs> I don't know. A lot of women came saying, for Hugh Jackman, too. I'm just saying. Just So they have these movies and stuff, and they're like, oh, and this many represent, it was represented. I'm like, okay, and how did that movie do? Like, what was the movie? How, how did that movie do? It, was it this. an actual blockbuster movie? Are you talking about it or something else? And how many, and, and of the, those movies and shows, how many, um, how much of the audience were women? You know what I mean? You need more and data. did they come? That's okay, the most right. important thing. Stop. The Beano to... meter. Did you top out? <laughs> did you max out the Beano meter? Because that's that's the sign of a successful uh, well, okay. movie. Okay, Deadpool Wolverine. You had you had Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, and Henry Cavill. Okay, yeah. So you do okay. the math. Okay, but but to be but fair, I was there with you. So Ryan Reynolds' face looked like a nut sack. <laughs> that's true, <laughs> but he's funny, and I like funny guys. And. Uh, I got nothing. Hugh Jackman was ripped. Yeah, but that could have been CGI. I don't know. He's okay. in pretty good shape. He's in pretty good but shape. I'm for just saying. And then we had Henry Cavill. So, yeah. like, it was a triple. Oh, my God. See, a lot of women might have came for that. I'm just saying. I mean, just, just saying. Just saying. Anyway. But the real reason was because you were there, too. Oh, yeah. That's a... <laughs> Can you wrap this up? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm gonna You're have like, to. Please shut up. Do I need to top top off the Beano meter? Is that Come, just stop. okay? We're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> for heaven's sake, stop. I'm gonna wrap it up. Yes. Please subscribe. We'll Bye. Talk later.